Hey guys, GG2512 here yet again. Now, uh, today I'm doing just a quick request video because I've been requested to show a couple of things. Um, I've been requested to show a tweak by, no, well, a glitch in the iOS 4 SB settings by Bird Bomb Mike, and I've been requested to do a rec boot review by iApple Reviews. So I'm going to start off with the rec uh, with the iOS 4 SB settings glitch because it's quick. Activate your SB settings by whatever gesture you have. For me, it's swipe right status bar for activator. Then make sure you have your fast notes toggle on. After that, you're going to more my toggles or something like that. Fast notes, as you can see, I've already entered in some text. Just enter in a couple of characters. Make sure you do it through the on screen keyboard to make sure it's still there. Now, if we lock the device and then hit the home button. As you can see, the keyboard is on the springboard, so I'm just going to hit return. Well, it's on the lock background. It's on the lock screen, not the springboard. So there, we're into our device. No SB settings active. Lock the device again. And there we go. It's just a quick little tweak. Fun. Uh, it's quite fun. I use it now and again. So, and to get rid of it, just open up your SB settings. Shut down the fast note. It's really that easy. So now if I lock my device again, there we go, it's gone. So thanks Burbarm for pointing that out to me. Right, next is Recboot, which is developed by the core dev team. I was actually told how to fix it by um, iHacker on Twitter. Um, for this, you need to have pre-installed your .dot network. Uh, you need to pre-install .dot network .dot net framework 4.0, and you need to find this file iTunes Mobile Device .dot dll. I'll have the information in the uh, description, but I'm afraid I can't give you a link for the iTunes Mobile Device software because of the fact it's kind of copyright infringement, piracy kind of thingy. So just Google it. It took me two seconds. So we're going to open up Recboot, which is connected to my iPod Touch, and we're just going to hit Enter Recovery Mode. Just, and you can see we're already shutting down and in recovery really quickly. And I didn't even click Exit Recovery Mode, and it's already done that. Okay, I think that was just something glitchy happening. And anyway. Once the device is booted, I'll get it back into recovery and I can show you that it can quit recovery mode. Any second now. Sorry guys, I, sorry guys, I know I'm not always very professional, but I try my best. Any second. There we go. Link. MC, don't like. Well, let's try this again. I'm pretty much in the iOS anyway. Enter recovery. There we go, into recovery mode. I think I've possibly got the wrong mobile device. But anyway, you just do the enter recovery and the exit recovery mode like that. Really simple, really easy. Um, I was going to show you guys how it works in Linux, but I can't get it to work myself. So I'm going to jump over to the Mac edition. Recboot does work, it's just my computer is a bitch. So, it works fine on my laptop, this is just a bitch. But anyway, can't do Linux, so jump into the Mac. Uh, oh great, focus is gone. Come on. Okay, good enough. So, iPod Touch here. I'm sorry, but does it, am I the only person who hates iPhoto booting up as soon as you plug in a bloody iPod? Right, so we're on my Mac Mini. Now, unfortunately, the new edition of Rec boots splits itself up into 
two apps, the editing and the booting. So we're going to go into recovery mode. As you can see, our device is not in recovery mode. We just got to click enter recovery mode. Look at the device. And iTunes has confirmed our iPod is in recovery mode. Now the Mac edition is the easiest to install. It has literally no prerequisites apart from just dragging it into applications or whatever. So this is the easiest one to do. Linux, there's a whole load of prerequisites. Um, I'll have all the links from down there anyway. And the Windows one, well, it's just .NET Framework 4.0, which you're probably going to need in the future anyway. And just the, uh, the mobile device DLL, so not too bad. Okay, so we've got our device into recovery, so we just want to quit the main activator. And now we want to use the rec boot exit only. And pretty simple, just one button, exit recovery mode. And then our device is booting up. <laughs> I love that little tagline. Oh, it my precious. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. I know it's one of my shorter videos, guys. I know I haven't got much content for it to say. But um, it was really just a quick request video. Just putting it out there for those who asked me to. So, I rec boot will be, uh, all the links will be down in the description, all of the prerequisites are on the blog and the readme's, so go ahead, check it out, really handy application, I use it quite a lot. Anybody else take away MC devices load? Anyway guys, that's all for today, catch you later. <laughs> Actually guys, I'm a terrible liar, I forgot there is another thing I wanted to mention. As some of you might know, Overload Network and the iGeeksters, which is why I think they were on at the beginning of the video, are officially in partnership now. But I'm going through a few things at the moment. So I'm falling behind on my current projects, so I can't quite keep up with everything. Unfortunately, I, I'm the repo manager of iGeeksters, but unfortunately I don't quite have the time at the moment to keep up with it. I'm trying my best to, but there's only so much what a guy can do before he falls down. So, um, I'm taking a break from the Overload Network stuff for a while, um, and the, uh, the YouTube videos, unless it's something major. Because, yes, I, you guys know I'm... I'm 100% dedicated into the by device hacking scene, but um, I was, I'm just going through a few personal issues at the moment, so I just need to I just need to take ten, just sort myself out because it all gets on top of you very quickly, and I just need to take some time out to get my head together. So, um. The iGeeksters repo will be in development. I don't have a official launch date because depictions very hard to do when you're a new guy to them. I never did them in Overload Network. So give me time. The iGeeksters repo will be on its way. Um, I'm, I might still be on Twitter, but don't expect to hear from me all the time. I won't always be able to respond to you guys. I try my best to respond to you guys, but I can always do it. I'll be there as much as I can without the world getting on top of me. But I just need to take a break. Because I'm just getting so tired. just need to sort my head out, sort my life out. Simple as that. So, I'll catch you guys soon. Catch you on the top side.